what is perfectly legal, but creepy as heck. Going on a vacation with your fiancé, only to return home alone and immediately lawyer up and not answer questions about their whereabouts. R.I.P. Gabby. It's obvious that she was killed, or there was an accident and I panicked. Regardless we need to get her body as soon as possible. Before the wildlife does. Calling your child sexy. Right up there with moms, who don't seem to understand that their son is not their boyfriend. What kind of weirdo threatens their son's spouse girlfriend with the line the first TS he loved were mine. Using the urinal next to me when there were plenty of other choices. A national newspaper having a countdown for when a child actress becomes legal. Answers to questions that will surely come. Yes, The Sun UK, Emma Watson. Hanging out in a public bathroom timing how long people pee. Technically, you can stand on the sidewalk and stare into someone's house through a window. It's not illegal, as long as you stay off of their property, but it's really freaking creepy. If you do it for too long it is actually a form of stalking, which is illegal. LOL. When I was a child, we had a creepy horrible neighbor that would harass my family constantly. One of the things he did was stand at the corner of his yard and videotape me playing in a pool with my friends we were around 8. My parents called the police, but were told that it's legal if he's on his property. I had a neighbor like this growing up. He never creeped on me or my brothers. But one time my dad saw him up on his roof, looking into the bathroom window of the house next door. Presumably watching the 16 year old girl in there. My dad put a huge blue tarp up against our shared fence like 10 feet tall, and told the entire neighborhood why. The guy complained, but couldn't do anything and eventually moved. Parents using their kids for money. Example YouTube kids channels. My dad is currently in an injury case against his old job. There's been a car outside his house filming him for the last couple months trying to catch him doing compromising things to disprove his injuries. That's very creepy saying think of yourselves as sisters when introducing a much younger new wife to one's adult daughter my father-in-law did this in some states it's actually legal to take up skirt pictures with your smartphone as long as they are wearing panties super creepy as heck i only know this because a judge ruled a guy innocent for doing just that because of a law that was worded a certain way no clue if the law has changed to include up skirt pics Using a laser ranger finder to ensure you stay outside the effective radius of a restraining order. Nobody is saying you can't eat a banana terry, but you can't just stand on a street corner for 30 minutes and suck on it. You have to actually take a bite. Parking across the street from an elementary school with binoculars. Technically not illegal, but you definitely get the cops called on you and make the news. I believe the act of cannibalism itself is legal, so long as you didn't murder anyone to do it. If your homie gives you his arm to gnaw on, it's fair game. Sitting next to someone at a public transport even when there are other seats available. Dating a girl you adopted once she turns legal age, and not in your care. Paparazzi. Trying to make your kids social media famous. Sniffing the hair of the lady who fell asleep on the train. Media outlets typically disquizzing it with comedy. Putting up turns 18 on countdowns for child actresses. Natalie Portman was 13 when she got a countdown on her local radio station. Duck's sake Mary Kate and Ashley were like 4 on Full House when they got their countdown. Sitting on a lake bed at night with her a brother and no flashlight. It's technically legal to check if a door is locked, as long as you don't enter without permission. Child beauty pageants. Family YouTube channels. This one hits close to home. A good friend of mine lives in a major east coast city. As a single woman she is extra cautious. 
she was the victim of an own local Instagram celebrity this weekend. Basically this guy follows people guys and girls around and records them. When they get annoyed and tell him to stop he gets more and more obnoxious, trying to get a reaction. He is careful not to cross the legal line for stalking etc. and does it in public. So be expectation of privacy. He then posts the inevitable freak out online. I'm not going to share the page my friend made the cut because I don't want to grace this troll with the page views. MLMs. Though I think they'll be illegal soon enough. MLM as in. Multi-level marketing. I can go put up a camera with a giant lens and set it up to take pictures every 30 seconds while pointed at a popular playground full of children. While I also fly a drone taking pictures of the same playground. The act of taking pictures in public is not illegal. Even if the subject doesn't want their picture taken. It's how the photos are used that determines if permission is needed. And as long as I'm using it for my own weird, creepy personal reasons, rather than trying to publish a book of them or put them in a movie, then it's not illegal. Of course this only applies in Canada and the US other countries may have different privacy laws and you do need the appropriate drone license. But I could still do it all day every day. Child brides in some parts of the world. WTF is wrong with people. Those weird kid clothes that are like I suck mom's boob or something. I found sh like that at Spencer's and thought it was ducking gross. Sifting through someone else's garbage bins. Cops and collection agencies do it all the time to gather evidence. It's perfectly legal. As the bins are on the street which is public, you can even turn it around and do it to the cops. They'll still try and throw the book at you of course. But it's legal and the courts have ruled as such. Owning a collection of children's teeth. Leaving a piece of your body behind for your future generations. My great great grandpa did this by having his skull revoked and turned into a goblet for his daughter my great grandma. Lasted about a few years before someone stole it. Tracking. Whether it's Google, Facebook, the government, or whoever. Duck right off with that. Staring into someone's window from the street to watch Jeopardy on their TV because your ducking mom cancelled cable when she found your vape. Puppy mills or backyard dog breeders that breed any dog with a genetic issue that affects their health or quality of life. Uploading your kid's life onto Facebook for strangers to view before the kid even knows what the internet is. Imagine logging online for the first time to find more pictures of you growing up than you've ever seen before and realizing people you don't know have had access to them for years, commenting on them and liking them, your parents old friends that they haven't spoke to in 10 years and have never met you. High school teachers dating students immediately after they graduate. My old boss who asked out my co-worker, she was 18. He was 38. I later learned he was hitting on her before she turned 18. Company fired him, but refused to ban him from the store. She had to quit. Secretly filming young girls at a public beach. I saw a guy get busted by the cops and they just had to let him walk away because it's not a crime. Saying that two little kids would look great together as a couple. Anonymously leaving a watermelon on your neighbor's doorstep every Friday night. Taking advantage of your kid's talent. Child celebrities parents are often guilty of this. Lawyers who spam your mailbox when you get arrested for a DUI or some reckless driving charge. A grown man giving expensive gifts to a teenage girl he's not related to or particularly close to. I came across this ask after reading a post where a woman said her husband gave their neighbor's daughter a 300 bracelet without discussing it with her and the vibes were super creepy. Technically not illegal but hella creep vibes there. Harassing someone through people. If you call the police or try to make any sort of protection order, they never actually contacted you. So there's nothing you can do. It doesn't matter how many flying monkeys you have to fight off. 
I hope a president using a drone to spy on the houses in our neighborhood. Two words. Net. Cannon. Eating mayonnaise at a urinal in your gym's bathroom with your pants all the way on the floor. Consider subscribing if you enjoyed this video, and if you want to see more of Reddit Universe.